Have you ever contemplated the rationalities behind Ripple's decision to exclude XRP from their liquidity hub? Moreover, it is noteworthy that the stock value of Coinbase experienced a substantial decline. Had it been possible to mitigate this decline through the implementation of the XRP-powered pump, it would have presented an intriguing inquiry to explore. Please remain engaged until the conclusion in order to obtain additional information. If this is your initial encounter with one of our videos, we would like to cordially welcome you. Kindly click on the notification button to ensure that you do not overlook any future video releases. Welcome to our platform, where we engage in discussions pertaining to the latest updates on XRP and other developments in the field of cryptocurrency. XRP continues to garner attention from prospective purchasers. According to a report published by a digital asset investment firm, there continues to be sustained interest from significant investors in acquiring XRP for the 16th consecutive week. The report reveals that the assets under management for XRP products at CoinShares have witnessed a notable increase of 127 since the commencement of 2023. XRP holds the position of being the cryptocurrency with the highest market capitalization. Based on the report, the primary factors contributing to the positive developments in the prolonged legal conflict between Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission in December 2020 are highlighted. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has filed a lawsuit against Ripple, alleging that the sale of XRP tokens amounted to the offering of unregistered securities. The sex claim seeks a sum of $1.3 billion. However, it is important to note that a federal district judge's partial decision has determined that the sales of XRP to ordinary investors should not be classified as securities. This ruling provides some optimism for both investors and Ripple. It is worth mentioning that institutional sales of XRP have not been impacted by this legal action. Notwithstanding this, the market exhibits a favorable response to the decision as it establishes a precedent asserting that digital currencies, when sold to ordinary consumers, fail to satisfy the criteria necessary for classification as securities. Nonetheless, the recent declaration by the SAC to challenge the decision rendered by the federal judge in the lawsuit has dampened the prevailing optimistic atmosphere. Over the course of the previous three weeks, the price of XRP has exhibited fluctuations that conform to a falling wedge pattern. In recent trading sessions, there have been attempts by bulls to surpass the upper trend line of the wedge pattern. However, the lack of substantial trading volume accompanying this upward movement has hindered their success. The occurrence may arise in the event that the upper trend line of the wedge pattern and the 50-day simple moving average fail to be effectively sustained. The positions of XRP and Bitcoin have experienced a notable shift, prompting optimistic speculation. This development is further analyzed by contextualizing it within historical data. Notably, in July, the XRP and Bitcoin chart reached its highest position since December 2022. The notable surge in value could potentially be attributed to the positive momentum that XRP experienced following Judge Torres' ruling in the same month. Despite a subsequent decline in price, the upward momentum of the token continued. SMA, also known as spinal muscular atrophy, is a genetic disorder characterized by the hence. It is worth mentioning that the most recent instance of XRPA prevailing over Bitcoin occurred in March 2017. The aforementioned action initiated an impressive surge, culminating in January 2018 when it attained an unprecedented peak of 3.80 cents, surpassing the previous record. In the preceding market upswing, the value of XRP experienced a remarkable surge of 15,400 within a span of less than one year. Nevertheless, the ascent was short-lived as XRP ultimately relinquished its previous gains, dropping below the 20-day simple moving average in April and the 50-day simple moving average in both April and June 2019. The instructor highlights the significance of XRP's recent ascent in reclaiming the two simple moving averages. SMAS 
it is likely that the token's return to the 50-day SMA is a deliberate move to assess its role as a support level amidst ongoing market corrections. SARP has effectively sustained its position above the 50-day simple moving average. There are indications that a period of bullish market activity is imminent. Several concerns were raised by members of the XRP community, necessitating the need for additional clarification. The discourse examined the utilization scenario wherein Ripple and XRP intersected alongside an analysis of the present condition of Ripple's on-demand liquidity solution. Simultaneously, Bill Morgan, a prominent legal practitioner advocating for XRP, posed a significant inquiry regarding Ripple's commercial operations. Morgan raised inquiries regarding the regulatory status of XRP and its exclusion from the liquidity hub alongside other digital assets. The attorney asserts that XRP is currently more deserving of inclusion on the list and advocates for its support in the liquidity hub. Morgan raised doubts regarding the legal ruling that XRP does not qualify as a security, consequently impeding Ripple's ability to incorporate XRP into the liquidity hub presently. According to Mr. Huber, a prominent advocate of XRP, the rationale behind this phenomenon can be attributed to the deliberate design of the Ripple liquidity hub, which aims to cater to the specific requirements of institutional entities. According to Ripple's blog, the Liquidity Center facilitates the process of enhancing ease of use. The user raised an inquiry regarding the absence of provision of XRP by Ripple to non-use institutions, such as those in Australia and Brazil, within the Liquidity Hub. The individual raised an inquiry regarding the potential sourcing of liquidity pools, specifically in relation to the utilization of XRP on exchanges as opposed to direct sales. In the discussion thread, Morgan expressed the viewpoint that it is logical for Ripple to exclude XRP from a company operating within the United States. According to Morgan, there is a logical rationale behind the decision of Ripple to exclude XRP for a certain purpose. In response to a query from a Twitter user regarding the distinction between Ripple's provision of XRP to institutions within the supported cryptocurrencies by the Ripple Liquidity Hub, the attorney argued that XRPI, which is supported by the Ripple Liquidity Hub, possesses a more favorable regulatory position compared to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. Furthermore, the attorney asserted that the superiority of XRP is substantiated by its association with the Ripple Liquidity Hub. Hub the topic of debate chain furthermore, a United States court has rendered a verdict stating that the XRP tokens provided by Ripple to financial institutions can be classified as a security contract. In light of this decision, Morgan underscored the significance of this matter. It is improbable that the organizations accepting BTC, Ethereum, and Litcoin from Ripple had foreseen any financial gains from their efforts at the time of publication. However, the Ripple Key 2 had not yet clarified the reason behind the exclusion of XRP as one of the supported digital assets on the Ripple Liquidity Hub, despite its absence from the list. Kindly remember to activate the notification bell. Additionally, it is highly recommended that you subscribe to our channel in order to promptly receive updates on any forthcoming developments pertaining to XRP. After the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, ruled in favor of XRP in the legal dispute involving Ripple, Coinbase, a globally recognized cryptocurrency exchange, experienced a notable surge in the value of its shares. The community held the belief that the failure to classify XRP as a security, despite its extensive usage and operational history, would establish a significant precedent. This measure has the potential to safeguard additional digital assets and their corresponding token sales by mitigating governmental regulatory scrutiny. The pro-Ripple decision signifies an inclination among regulators to potentially exhibit greater tolerance towards other cryptocurrency firms.